entry, the command module separated from the service module. The spacecraft was then automatically maneuvered to the proper attitude for entry. Traveling 24,530 miles per hour, Apollo 8 began Earth entry seven and one half miles above the Western Pacific Ocean. As Apollo 8 streaked through the Pacific night, an airborne camera photographed the blazing trail of the spacecraft and its ablative material. Following a direct descent flight path, Apollo 8 traveled 1,560 miles across the Earth's surface and splashed down in the Pacific with pinpoint accuracy, less than four miles from its recovery ship. The first night landing of a manned spacecraft brought the epical lunar journey to an end with the precision that characterized the entire mission. Apollo 8 had splashed down on target and on schedule at six days, two hours, and 59 minutes after liftoff. On man's first flight to the moon, all primary mission objectives had been completely accomplished. Every detailed test objective had been met, as well as five which were not originally planned. While overwhelming praise was given to astronauts Borman, Lovell, and Anders for their historic accomplishment, just praise was also given to the Apollo launch and mission teams, who had coped with many difficult constraints in carrying out the complicated launch and mission. Apollo 8 climaxed a year of manned spaceflight progress and demonstrated with awesome perfection the capability of United States crews and equipment to fly into space beyond the equilibrium point of the Earth's gravitational pull. With the historic flight of Apollo 8 to the moon and back in the closing days of 1968, Mankind entered a new era of unlimited dimensions, and the United States became truly a space-faring nation. Hi, I'm Clint Black, and you're watching NASA Television.